I've got two goals this weekend. One is stay out of the city. The thought of being in Seattle all weekend was not appealing, so I thought get out of the city and stay out of the city. Easy to do, uh, but where to go? Uh, so my other decision was I got to get to the ocean because summer's almost over and uh, it's been a mild summer and I haven't exactly tried to get out to the ocean very much. So this weekend I'm going to see the ocean and I'm going to go see a new part of Washington State that I haven't been to before. Hopefully it's worth the drive. So I got just uh, the other side of Port Angeles and realized that uh, I probably got a couple hour drive ahead of me. So I figured it might be a good time to pull over, uh, get my coffee situation straightened out. So I just made some coffee and uh, I think I'm going to have a little breakfast, which is a little unusual for me, but I was kind of planning ahead. I, I had a bit of a light dinner last night. Um, so I stopped and got a piece of pie, uh, peach pie. So that'll be breakfast along with my coffee. And I also stocked up on my Oatly, which I'm really liking. Um, oat milk uh, that I use for creamer in my coffee anyway. Um, so uh, I, it looks like a really beautiful drive, but it's gonna be a, kind of a slow drive and uh, I think I'm all ready for it. One of the things that I do before I head out of town, especially when I'm going to a place that I know I'm going to be kind of uh, out of cell service, uh, I go into Google Maps. I use Google Maps all the time. Uh, I go into Google Maps and I download an offline map just so that I know if I don't have a cell signal, I'll still be able to travel around because I have no sense of direction. Um, and last night, uh, how I got the pie actually was last night I stopped and got some food. I usually keep the van fairly well stocked just in case I want to run uh, out of the city and be away from stores. But I, because I knew I was heading out here, I stopped and got a few extra things uh, so that I knew that I wasn't going to starve to death. Because I, I haven't been out here to this part of the Olympic peninsula so um that's always hard for me to say so i figured better be safe than sorry and stock up uh, as well as i can so i got some special stuff for lunch and um i think that pie was a good decision because i that is going to make a beautiful breakfast So I've had to make a little stop here because while this is near the Olympic National Park, this is actually First Nations land that I'm on now. And uh, it is required to have a recreational use permit. So I just stopped and got one here at the general store uh, in town. And uh, now that I have this, I can uh, hang it up and continue on. So just something you need to know. I didn't realize that until just recently that you need to have this uh, recreational use permit. And it's only 10 bucks, uh, lasts for uh, the year. So uh, if I do come back here, uh, I can use the same pass for the rest of the year. So one piece of advice if you're gonna drive up to, to the Olympics is allow about twice as much time as it should take you to get to where you want to go because if you're anything like me you want to keep stopping and getting out of the van and looking around and taking in the scenery it is amazing up here now my only real problem is i want to get hiking there's a little short hike i want to take uh, to get to the view that i want to get to uh, but it's taken me a little longer than I've planned on to get here, so um, I should probably, instead of just getting to the hiking, I should probably make lunch first. I have been snacking on some chips. I bought some kettle chips while I was in the little general store, but um, if I'm going to be hiking, I should probably make some lunch. So here we go, lunchtime first. So in preparation for this weekend, last night I stopped in Tacoma, 
which is on the way out here to the Olympics. And I bought some grass-fed burgers. Um, I was kind of in the mood to cook burgers. I don't normally cook a lot of meat here in the van, but um, just kind of in the mood for it. And then they had these that were all seasoned and ready to go, so I don't have to do much to them. I'm just going to throw them in my pan and just uh, cook them like that. Easy, simple. So, so obviously it would be better to cook these burgers on a barbecue or something like that, but since I don't have one, I'm just gonna do them in my pan here on my stove. And I've got the heat kind of low at the moment, and I'm just gonna cover them up with this pan. This is just a pan I bought at the restaurant supply store, just stainless steel pan, and it doesn't fit completely over uh, the top of my skillet here, but it, it does most of it. And um, I find that it kind of creates a little bit of an oven in there. So this way I'll cook them nice and slow for a little bit. And when they're just about done, I'll turn the heat up and uh, give them a little crust on the outside, which is the way I like them. So that'll take a few minutes. I'll just have to relax and uh, hiking will be soon, very soon. But I can't wait to get to that. Okay, so just keeping it simple like I normally do. There's the burger. Got it on some sourdough, some local sourdough. Added a little veganaise to it. I really like veganaise. I know that seems kind of weird, but um, I just really like veganaise a little bit better than mayonnaise. And then I'm going to save the other burger for dinner. So I'm just going to wrap that up and put it down in the fridge. And probably going to eat fast because... I really want to get to hiking. Figured I should make some dessert to go with my lunch. This really should be a fairly easy hike. It's uh, it's trail hiking and uh, lots of kids and older folks around, so this should be just a nice, easy, gentle hike, which is what I need today, or this weekend anyway. go there's Instagram at work right there maybe not the best and smartest thing those two have done all day but then again I have no idea So this is, of course, Cape Flattery, which is known as the most northwestern point of the continental United States. I guess that's a uh, point of interest to some. To me, it's interesting because that is the Pacific Ocean, one of my favorite things in the whole world.
So this is indeed an easy hike for everybody, but uh, the only real trouble is the way back to the van is all uphill. trouble with easy hikes is there's a lot of people. Well, that was absolutely worth the drive out here, but I am tuckered out. Uh, it was a fairly easy hike, um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still tired. Anyway, um, I would have stayed longer, but there were a lot of people, a lot of people, and there's more people coming in so um i had i've had enough of smoking and vaping in nature so i decided uh to uh leave while i still had good thoughts about the place anyway i'd come back here in a heartbeat but for now uh, i think i'm gonna move on so the whole point in coming out here was to get away from the city and people so I enjoyed the hike for what it was. The scenery obviously was incredible, but uh, it was a good decision to just take off. And now I'm still feeling like I'm uh, wanting to be around the water. This is not the Pacific Ocean side. This is uh, the Salish Sea side. Probably mispronouncing that. Still just as pretty, though. Well, as nice as this is, I am getting tired. I've been doing a lot of driving. Work has been pretty hectic. Um, they've been working us pretty hard. Mandatory overtime and all, so um, I'm tired. Uh, I was thinking I needed to push through, then I thought, you know what? I'm not at work. I don't, I'm not on anybody's schedule but my own. So I think I am going to just take a little nap. This, uh, just a little viewpoints here and it's a little noisy, but like I said before, I don't have any trouble sleeping when it's noisy. So I am just gonna put my head down, take a little nap and then decide what I, uh, what I want to do, where I want to go after that. Well, I just took an hour nap. The road noise was not a problem. The birds and the water and the boats were also not a problem. What an incredible place this is. So now that I'm all refreshed after that nap, I've decided I'm going to uh, take kind of the long way back, uh, which means I'm going to head down to the 101, and uh, it is my favorite drive through the Olympics. Uh, it goes by Lake Crescent, so or is that Crescent Lake? I'll have to look that up, because there's a Lake Crescent and there's a Crescent Lake, and they're in two different parts of the state, and I never remember which one is which. But what I do remember is, whichever one is here in the Olympics is my favorite, my absolute favorite place to drive through, especially as the light is kind of fading. Um, it's just a gorgeous place. So since I enjoy it so much, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if you caught what I said earlier about uh, wanting to stop all the time and getting a better look at things when you're driving around out here. Well, that's what I did now. 
And I got out here a little too late. Just trying to get the setting sun, but uh, we'll see what I got is dark. You just have to take my word for it that this is a really beautiful spot. Well, it's getting late. It's uh, just after 9 o'clock, so I guess I should make a little dinner. I've interrupted my drive here to uh, feed myself. I've got that uh, leftover burger I'm going to heat up and uh, I'm going to keep it simple as is the theme for today's food. I've got a bag of rice. Don't judge me. Uh, yeah, I know I could cook rice quite easily, but um, I want to get back to driving. So I, I keep some of these little quick things in the van just for occasions like this. So I'll heat up uh, both of these, probably throw some soy sauce on them and um, some pepper and that will be dinner, I think. And I'm doing it right here at Lake Crescent because I can hear the waves. I don't know if you can hear them on the microphone. But this is rather pleasant. <laughs> so there we go, my easy five minute dinner since I didn't have to cook anything. And I think I have some kale left in the fridge so I can have a little vegetable as well for any of you that are concerned. And I'm going to eat it sitting right here. A little bit of road noise and I can't see anything, but I can listen to the waves of Lake Crescent.